BAID is a tool that hierarchically clusters phenotypically similar cells and presents the data in a visual tree form to accelerate analysis of high-dimensional data sets. You can access this premium functionality through DVS Cytobank and Enterprise Cytobank. To set up a SPADE run, upload data and click Create SPADE Analysis from the Experiment Details page. Enter a name and continue on to the setup page. There are five elements of the SPADE run to configure. The target number of clusters, the downsampling value, which population to use, which clustering channels to use, and fold change groups. Additionally, if you're using SPADE with fluorescence data, you'll want to choose the appropriate compensation matrix. We've set default values for the target number of clusters and downsampling values. If you want greater resolution of your sample, increase the target number of nodes, or to lower the resolution, decrease this value. Downsampling can be thought of as a percentage of a rare population that you don't want to miss. You can read more about this on our support site at support.cytobank.org. We set a default value that's equal to 10% of the number of events in your FCS file with the least number of events. Next, choose a population on which you want to run SPADE. Often users will choose an intact cells or singlets gate or another cleanup gate. Choose the channels that you want to be involved in the clustering of cells. Note that you'll be able to see data for all of your channels within the tree viewer. This step only tells spades which channels to use in clustering. Often researchers will choose to use surface markers for this step. If you want to compute a fold change with respect to a baseline sample, set up fold change groups. You can place all files into one group and use one baseline file for comparison, or you can separate subsets of files into their own fold change groups and use distinct baselines for example, if you had different cohorts of patients. When you're done configuring these five elements, click to run SPADE. You can navigate away from this page and your run will continue in the background. You'll be able to access it from the Experiment Details page. tree is generated, you're ready to bubble populations and analyze the data. Each node in a tree is a cluster of phenotypically similar cells. The color of a node is governed by the coloring attribute and statistical value selected. For example, to view the median values for CD3 expression, we would set the coloring attribute to CD3 and the statistical value to medians. The color scale indicates the intensity. You can configure other display options on the controls on the left. This bay tree is initially not annotated, so your first step is to group nodes into bubbles. Use your clustering channels to guide you in this process. We generally recommend starting out with markers that are known to stain well. For example, we can begin by bubbling T cells by looking at CD3 medians seeing which nodes are the brightest, and then flipping to CD4 and CD8 to define CD4 positive and CD8 positive T cells. To bubble a group of nodes, select the nodes, click Add Bubble, and enter a name for the bubbled cells. Hold down the command or control key to add additional nodes to a selection. Continue this bubbling process for any other cell populations in your experiment for which you've stained. 
Once you've grouped nodes into bubbles, you're ready to discover interesting results within your populations. You ch can change the coloring attribute to signaling or other markers of interest and assess their patterns across all populations in your experiment simultaneously. Use the up and down arrows on your computer keyboard to rapidly flip through different coloring attributes. You can use the left and right arrow keys to flip through your samples. Or you can use the pull down menu at the top. If you want a more detailed look of the staining pattern within a node, select that node and then use the two dimensional plot controls to select markers to view on the two dimensional plot. The gray contour lines represent the staining patterns of all the cells in your sample and the bright dots are where the cells in that node fall on the 2D plot. A table of statistics is available below each tree. You can also export bubbled populations into a new experiment to set up traditional views like bivariate plots, overlays, and heat maps. We have support materials available on support.cytobank.org and you can contact us with any questions by writing to helpdesk at cytobank.org. You can access a copy of this data set by Ben Dahl and colleagues, including the spade analysis, at dvs.cytobank.org under the Public Experiments category.